I'm Maggie Schwade. I'm the beekeeper here at the Stone Barn Center for Food and Agriculture. Uh, we're going to have a look in the apiary today. It is swarm season, which is the time when uh, bees are trying to have the colony reproduce itself. So the old queen might leave the hive with half of the bees and try to set up new quarters elsewhere. So we're going to be inspecting a colony to see if it's queen right, that is to say if it has a laying queen, and to see if there are indications that they might wish to swarm. One of the first things I have a look at is the entrance to see if the bees are bringing in pollen, and if so, what colors it is. So it gives me an impression of the health of the hive that they're able to collect pollen. So I'm going to open up the colony. So one of the things you can see is the smoker. I use the smoke at the entrance and under the lid, just a little puff. It helps move them away from the area. They think it's a forest fire. And the other big thing that it does is it masks the alarm pheromone that bees give off if they are disturbed. These two first boxes are called honey supers, and they're pretty heavy and full at this point. And I'm just going to take them off the hive. So all those different colors are different floral sources. And those are layered up inside their different pollen sources stacked on stacked on stacked of different ones and mixed with a little nectar and bee saliva that has an enzyme in it that helps ferment that pollen and preserve it. So when it's in this form, it's called bee bread. There are 10 amino acids that they need. So by having a diversity of pollen sources, you're doing the best thing you can do for your bees by giving them terrific nutrition that helps build strong bees. There was clearly some cells on the underside of this, and I want to see what kind they were. There has been some brood in here, and these down here are queen cells that are swarm cells. So this was a colony that was committed to swarming, and I'm going to remove these cells, and I'm going to um, have to inspect every frame now. So I use a little smoke to move them away and I use my hive tool to pry the bars apart. So the queen came up into this and was laying because I trusted her, <laughs> foolishly, I trusted her not to lay in the honey super. This is capped brood and along the edges you can see larvae Perfect brood, just in the wrong place from my point of view, not from the bees' point of view. So I just take my hive tool and shave them off. They're right along the bottom. So I don't believe that the queen is up here in this box. So we're going to make our way down. They may be in the business of making a new queen, so a supersedure cell looks like a big long peanut. Might have been an emergency cell, but it's in the right position, not as a swarm cell. So I'm going to look at this very carefully to see if there are any eggs. And I'm really only seeing capped brood. There's the a young queen. I heard her piping. You can tell the queen because she has that big, solid, hairless thorax. And you can tell she's a virgin because she's still very little. And she's moving very rapidly over the frames. I am done with this inspection. My first obligation is to always protect a queen so that the colony is viable. This is a queen excluder. And you can see it's just a grid that you can put under a box like that so that all the brood will hatch out and then the queen can't get back in there and um, they can resume filling it with nectar and make honey. 
either that little virgin queen will go around piping, it's called, and she'll get other queens that may be hidden in queen cells to answer her. And if they do, she will kill each and every one of them so that she's the only queen. If there's already a mated queen in there, they will probably do battle, and one of them will be the victor. The venom is strongest in the um, virgin queen, so she has a good chance. Or the old queen will swarm. Uh, the swarm cells suggest that's also a possibility. And then there's already a little virgin in there. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this hive and see what happens.